What is up guys, welcome to Wrestle99, I'm back again for another video. This video is going to be my TNA Lockdown 2013 predictions. Uh, Lockdown will be live on February this Saturday, uh, sorry, this Sunday. And uh, Impact just ended, I watched it, wasn't paying too much attention to it because it sucked. Well, it was not good, let's just say that. And, so yeah, I'm just gonna get to the predictions. So, uh, there's only six matches announced for this card, and two main events, uh, I guess two mid-card matches, and two matches nobody cares about, so, yeah, alright, now let's just start with the job matches that nobody cares about, I'm not gonna say the job matches, but, dude, this is self-explanatory, Robbie E versus Robbie T, nobody wants to see this, I hate Robbie, Robbie, Robbie T, nobody likes him, and if somebody does like him, probably not the most, and, you know, I'm just not gonna say it, but, not a lot. He, they don't have fan bases at all. Both guys suck. Neither of them have talent in the ring. That's just me. But uh, I don't really care who wins. I don't, but uh, I guess Robbie T's. This is his face turn begins. This is his first pay per view as a face. So I guess I'll just pick him to win. So screw this match. Next match. Another match nobody cares about. But I would honestly rather see than Robbie versus Rob T. Which is sad to say, but whatever. It's a knockout championship, Gail Kim versus Velvet Sky, the champion. Uh, Velvet Sky, I think she just won it like two, th couple weeks ago, something like that, on uh, overseas, they're on Impact. So, uh, Gail Kim won the uh, the pinfall and the six-person tag team match on Impact tonight. So, she gained the momentum, which I think will lead to Velvet Sky winning. So, Velvet Sky, Velvet Sky over Gail Kim. And now moving on to the mid-card matches that bring somewhat of a uh, attention span in. We'll start with uh, the Triple Threat Tag Team Championship match. You got Daniels and Kazarian, uh, Hernandez and Chavo Guerrero, and the champions Bobby Roode and Austin Aries. Now it's a shame that Bobby Roode and Austin Aries, not saying they're not good as a tag team, but why are they teaming? Like, come on, like, they should be, they they were having a good feud, a great feud, honestly. I, I loved it in the summer. They had two great matches. Wait, yeah, it was two. And, uh, like, they should be in main events, not teaming with each other for the tag team titles when they were just in the world title picture a couple of months ago. Well, not a couple of months ago, but you get the point. So, uh, considering they just won the tag team titles, and, you know, I like Kaz and Daniels. They're one of my favorite teams in wrestling right now. But, uh, they had the titles for a while. Well, wait, when did they... Hold on, give me... I think they won it in... I'm gonna say May of last year. And then dropped it to Angle and Styles, and I think they won it back two weeks later. And then I think they lost it at Bound for Glory. I think that's how it went. So, uh, I don't know. Aries and Bobby Roode to win. No, I don't want to see Chavo and Hernandez. Chavo and Hernandez actually just lost the belts, so uh, they're not going to win. Uh, Kaz and Daniels, I think. I, I like them as a team, but Daniels deserves to be in the main event, and so does Kaz. So maybe they can work their way right into the main event scene. I would hope so. So I'm just going to pick Bobby Roode and Austin Aries to uh, retain the Tag Team Championships here. <sighs> Next, you got a match that I honestly don't care about. Kurt Angle versus Wes Briscoe. What, what, what did Wes Briscoe do to deserve to be in the ring with Kurt Angle, first of all? Wes Briscoe, he's an ace and an ace. Alright, well, that's, that's so we care about him? Like, no. Like, he was pretty much a rookie being trained along with Garrett Bischoff. Well, not trained, but you know, you get what I mean by Kurt Angle Joe, Samoa Joe, and now he's just, let's put him in the ring with Kurt Angle, I'm thinking like Impact now, alright, that makes no sense, first of all, he did not He did nothing to deserve to be in the ring with, the, with a legend like Kurt Angle, and second of all, what, why can't, why is Wes Briscoe the guy who's got to face Kurt Angle, I mean, I know there's, it, would, it makes sense kind of, because you know, Wes Briscoe's turned on Kurt Angle after Kurt Angle's helping him all this time, but, I don't know, I just don't like, you know, the booking. That's not saying I, I should be, you know, I should, it should be better or anything, because, I mean, I am talking about TNA. It should be better, but, I, again, I am talking about TNA, so, I don't know. Uh, Kurt Angle will win West Br if West Briscoe wins, man. That's that's really stupid. Just It's just stupid. I, I can't put it in any other words that he doesn't deserve it. West Briscoe does not impress me at all. I do not, I, I'm not a fan of him. And I hope Kurt Angle kills him inside Steel Cage. Not literally, but you get what I mean. And uh, moving on, I guess we'll go to the World Heavyweight Championship match since I, I would like to see at least a lockdown main event. So, World Heavyweight Championship. 
<sighs> they challenge your Bully Ray, the champion Jeff Hardy. First off, Bully Ray did absolutely nothing to get a championship match against Jeff Hardy. Second off, what kind of crap build have they been giving us? I mean, I, I just got done watching Impact. They just cut a promo pretty much, you know, giving each other their props, you know, saying, I respect you, I respect you, and uh, like stuff like that. Like, no, like, Bully Ray, you're getting a freaking world championship match. You should be telling Jeff Hardy, like, look, you know, I don't. Considering they're both faces, this is how I would do it. So, you, if you don't want to make Bully Ray look like a heel or anything, just you know, look, you, you know, Jeff, I respect you, but I'm I'm going to destroy you, and I will be the world champion, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. And you know, I know he kind of said that a little bit, but you know, they were just going back and forth of how they respect each other and blah blah blah. And it was just so dumb, and the whole the whole booking for this. I'm not trying to sound like it was so smart, like the booking, but uh, it's just really. Stupid, like, come on. But, uh, I don't know, maybe Bully Ray will eventually turn heel off of this, but, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I had American Dad on my TV and I just saw something funny, but, uh, I don't know, maybe Bully Ray will be turning heel soon, I don't, I have no idea, but, um, Bully Ray, ignoring the build, ignoring how stupid the build was and why Bully Ray is getting a championship match out of nowhere, ignoring all that. Jeff Hardy's had the title since October, so October, November, December, January, February, March, so uh, seven months, and uh, well, six months and like, uh, you know, half a month, but you get the points, we're just going to say seven months, and Bully Ray, I think he deserves a world championship, he's been doing good stuff in TNA, he's been putting on good matches, I think he's really improved ever since, you know, going off of his own, he's lost a lot of weight, got in good shape, and he's been doing a real good job, so you know what, Bully Ray... Come Sunday will be your new World Heavyweight Champion. I am a fan of Boy Ray, and I want to see him be the World Heavyweight Champion. Ignore the the stupid the stupidity of TNA or Impact Wrestling, whatever you want to call him, for this dumb build up. Boy Ray will walk out the champion. That's who I'm picking. And then moving on to your lockdown main event. It's Lethal Lockdown five on five Aces and Eights versus Team TNA. Uh, hold on one second. I'm gonna go on the Impact Wrestling site here because. The TNA lockdown page, you can barely see the pictures for the guys, so I don't even know who's on these teams. Uh, well, I know who's on Team TNA, I just don't know who's on Aces and Eights. But uh, Team TNA is captained by Sting, followed by Eric Young, James Storm, uh, Magnus, and Samoa Joe. Uh, of course, if my computer's going to take forever to load this, so uh, yeah. It's funny how I'm making a TNA video, and I'm talking about. Hey, well, sorry, I'm making a TNA video, and I'm decked out in my CM Punk gear right now. But, uh, just trying to kill time while this dumb computer loads. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to try to look on these tiny pictures. Alright, I think the Devon... Who's that? Is it Gary Bischoff? Mr. Anderson? Who the hell is that? Oh, that's Mike Knox. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, that's Luke Gallows. Alright. Alright, I just figured I'd look, and I actually did, so whatever. And now, and now the regular site loads when I can get the actual big picture, but you know what? Whatever. So, this match. Well, this... Aces and Aces are dragging this out way too much. Jesus God, I mean... <laughs> what... What is the reason, like... No... Why do you... Drag out this when it should have ended at Bound for Glory, first of all? And I know that's when they finally started revealing people, they revealed Devon... But, like, why is this being dragged out to lockdown? Like, I know they needed something for lethal lockdowns. That's probably half the reason, so I don't know. But I'm sick of Aces and Aids. They, they got to get them off TV because pretty soon it's going to be the one-year anniversary of Aces and Aids just coming in, TNA and making TNA look like a bunch of, you know, trash and that can't, you know, do nothing about this when they could just, you know, be like, look, you're fired and, and logical, but, you know. Technically, they don't even have a job, I guess. But uh, it's a bunch of outsiders. I don't even know. It's dumb TNA for you. But, uh, just kill off this feud. Team TNA will win. Just kill it. I'm done. Screw the Aces and Eights. It was cool when it started. Well, actually, it was kind of cool for the first couple of weeks. And I was just like, alright, this is already stupid. So, just kill it off. No more Aces and Eights. I do not want to see them on my television anymore after Sunday. And uh, I'm not even ordering this paper. You don't stream that crap. But 
I don't know, Impact officially goes on the road next week in Chicago, and then I think they're in, I forget what they, uh, where they are the week after that, but whatever. Um, overall, lockdown should be decent. I mean, you got Bully Ray and Jeff Hardy. It should be pretty good. Hopefully, Kurt Angle just kills Wes Briscoe, which I'll enjoy. We'll probably end up having a uh, thrown-on uh, exhibition title match because Kenny King cut a promo on Impact saying whoever you know he faces at lockdown, it's going to be the same result. He, he did what he had to do to uh, get the title, and he'll do what he has to do to retain it. But uh, So Kenny King will probably end up having a match, I'd assume, against RVD one more time. You know, an RVD's rematch because... RVD, I, I would rather see him in the main event scene, but whatever. He's in the X Division, but he's a good stable for the X Division, I think. A good leader of all of it, so I, I don't mind. So we'll probably have Kenny King and RVD in a match someday, but which will be good. But, uh, yeah, so at least the lockdown should be hopefully good. I mean, uh, the, the whole night throughout cage matches, like every year at lockdown, you're just like, all right, I'm sick of this cage, just end the show. You know, Storm and Bobby Roode, they had a pretty good match. Uh, not a pretty good match, a great uh, main event last year. So hopefully, whatever the main event is can really, you know, get the crowd pumped. And you know what I, you get what I mean. But um, Jeff Hardy and Blair should be pretty good. Hopefully, Lethal Lockdown's good. I hope Kurt Angle destroys West Briscoe because West Briscoe sucks. Uh, what else is on this? The three-way tag should be good. You got a lot of talent in there. And as for the knockouts match and Robbie E versus Robbie T. No comment. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, please subscribe. I need one more subscriber to get to 100, which I will make a video on the second I see I get it. I got 100 subscribers. So, please, I need one more. Subscribe down below, and make sure you leave comments and your predictions, video responses of your predictions. Lockdown is Sunday. Um, I'm not going to say it's a pay for you to watch, but... You know, if you if you have nothing to do on Sunday night, you want to watch some wrestling, might as well watch TNA. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me wrestle on that nine. Peace out.